You should get rid of that tea right there. It looks like a urine sample now. How's it going? You got Lanai with It's a Hawaii Thing. That's Brooke. Hi. Mahalo for joining us. We have a special guest on the show today. He's done a lot of shows. Yes. A lot of television, uh, movies. He's been involved, a uh, producer, actor. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been on Who's the Boss? Mm -hmm. Saved Whoa. by the Bell. Uh, silk Whoa. Stockings. I'm going in chronological order. <laughs> chronological that was order. Like it. That was Day like in the 60s. Yeah, chronological order. I'm working my way up. Days of Our right. Lives, Melrose Place, That's Deadly Pursuits, Black Days. Cat Run, Final Accent, Chain of Command, Project Viper, uh, A Boyfriend Starship. for Christmas. Smith. Troopers. Pat, I didn't get to that year yet. Ice Spiders, Holiday Road Trip, Waiting for Superman, The Hunting of Christmas in Palm Superman. Springs. Uh, you didn't do that one? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that was a video. Pa yeah, Patient Killer, uh, Christmas Reunion, His Secret Past. Those are just the TV shows, just by the way, up. guys. Scroll up. Um, for the movies, oh my gosh, Starship Troopers, yeah. Arrival 2, Wicked, uh, Stigmata, Red Team, Bad Karma, Black Woods. It's Patrick Molden, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Patrick? Muldoon. How you doing, Patrick? I'm so happy to be here. I have uh, to tell you. Pat we're happy you're here. And the best, the best thing, Lanai, is, is the cool thing is, like, you watched all those movies, all those <laughs> terrible movies, Twice, just Patrick. to prepare for this interview. Twice, Thank Patrick. You. I do my I do my homework. The residuals checks are in the mail. I do my homework in the because I know Brooke was like Days of Our Nights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pageant girl. I understand the world I, you of soap operas. You know what? I understand soap You operas. you poke fun, but I was a huge soap opera fan he in was high school. So it's crazy. the weirdest thing. Yeah. I don't know why I watched. Which now one was I it? can't stand them. Which was it? The Young one? and the Restless was my thing, but my mom so watched wow. Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives, my mom watched. Based like my time. Mom. Like time in the hourglass. These they are the days of our lives. Based her whole life yeah. on it. Yeah. A lot of, lot of, lot of sands. Oh, in like glass. sands in it. Are they? <laughs> like sand. Like time in the hourglass. <laughs> yeah, That's like, actually better. Yeah. Better. Call them, be like, Dude. Rewrite it. Yeah. Bring it back. <laughs> you know? Bring it back. <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you. Back. I know you're busy. Uh, you could be doing I'm not other busy. things. I'm not he busy just got. He, where did you just get back from? You were in Atlanta. Where were you? Atlanta? Uh, no, I was in Jack Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, what were you doing the there? Other Atlanta. <laughs> I was hanging out in a hotel room, uh -huh. in a, like a Holiday Inn, but it's not even a proper Holiday Inn. It's like, uh, and it's got a Taco Bell in the parking lot. What? Burger King. <laughs> what? Was it a Taco and Bell it, cantina, or was it just a regular? No, no, no. If you wanted to get a McDonald's, you had to cross the interstate with no crosswalk. But God bless you, Mississippi. It God was a good time. God bless you, Mississippi. But, you I, were... but, I, but I was doing this movie, and it was uh, with Mickey Rourke and Jason Patrick. Uh -huh. Dang. Wow. Okay. What's it called? It, Can we say? <laughs> Wait, hang on. It's called... <laughs> <laughs> He's writing it Murder. as we speak. No, Murder at Hollow Creek. Murder, Murder at, at Hollow Creek. Creek. Is it in yep. a... A uh, Mickey Rourke. Yeah, what what kind of movie is this? What are we looking at? It's here? a feel good. Well, there's a murder. <laughs> there's a creek. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's in and, Mississippi. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hollow. Uh, there's talk about no, but uh, uh, I play this husband that buys. I'm I'm a wealthy husband, and I buy this uh, necklace, beautiful necklace for my wife on the on the uh, what do you call it? eBay. No, no, black market. Oh, black market. Oh, okay. same, same thing. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. You know? oh. And I'm a rich dude is still trying to get a deal, mm. right? Okay. And that so, happens. Yeah, so I buy this stolen necklace and I give it to her. And I, this necklace evidently was at a museum stolen from a museum, oh, right? Okay. And Mickey R Rourke wants to steal it from me. Oh. So. Yeah. How's he? How, hey, how's he doing? Yeah, is he look? Is, is he, he look all right? Is he stand up by himself? How's it going? Wow. Yeah, yeah he's really? he's. <laughs> wow. wow. No, he's uh, he's doing great. I mean, yeah. he's he's still Mickey Rourke. Like he's uh, and and especially when Mickey Rourke is playing the bad guy. Yeah, um, I like him as a bad he's guy. He's in the lane. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's in, in the lane. lane. Like yeah. if he was playing my part, you'd be like, <laughs> maybe nah. not. Yeah. Uh, no. Nah, and Jason you know. Patrick is not who I'm thinking of because I is think that the Star Trek guy. No. No. And I'm that's thinking Patrick, of the, that's Patrick Stewart. Oh, and, Patrick and Stewart. I'm thinking of 90210, which is a different guy too. Jason Patrick is like Lost Boys, Jason Patrick, correct? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And uh are you finished shooting the movie? I did. They're you're, still you're, shooting. Okay. 
So probably you're still at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> still like, hey, still our theme out. our theme today has no been Taco idea. Bell. You just got so you know, really? no idea yes. how like on the nose you are right now. It's kind of oh, scary. Okay, so we, talk to me. So did you guys both have it for lunch? No, so I love Taco Bell. Brooke <laughs> doesn't too. have a clue what it is. I don't have it. And either. we had a drag queen on uh, He's one not of our shows. This up, by the way, and uh, she just got a gig where she'll be touring yeah. the country, doing a Taco Bell <laughs> tour for the new Taco Bell cantinas, which will be serving liquor. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? Why wait, 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 wait. is everybody so Name excited something. about the <laughs> liquor? Isn't that amazing? Hey, let me tell you something. Lenai, this is the best news I've heard. <laughs> <in life. laughs> uh, Taco Bell with alcohol. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to bring it in with no, me. No, you it's don't. There. That's oh that, my God. That's what I was thinking. I was like, usually you go to talk about because you're wasted. Now you can go there and get wasted. I can't even and understand this subculture. I mean, you have no idea. Like what you just said is absolutely true. Yeah, wait, hold on, Patrick. What we gotta more take, do you need? We got to take a quick break. We're going to talk more about this in a minute. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Patrick Muldoon is hanging out with us, and we're talking Taco Bell today. It's a if Taco they don't, Bell thing. If they don't wow. sponsor this show, I don't know what we're going to do. What is going to happen? So, so, Patrick, I'm trying to explain to Brooke over the last five no years no how idea. important Dude. Taco Bell and how underground and it's how it's a big culture. I've been trying right. to be an ambassador for Taco Bell. Did you hear about being an ambassador for Taco Bell? Oh, my God. No, please <laughs> preach. <laughs> Preach. You you get invited to try all their new dishes that they want to launch. I don't understand. You get you, Thanksgiving. They Whoa. they invite like the top fifty influencers from all over the world, and you have yeah. a Thanksgiving Taco Bell. It's feast, like the Last Supper for. And you leave with like five thousand dollars in merch from Taco oh, Bell, which is on. a lot Come for Taco on, Bell. Man. Clothes, socks, you name it. Evidently, this is like a Trekkies thing, it Patrick. Is. Like it's a serious like. There's a Taco Bell underground subreddit. <laughs> I thought he was lying. Lying, but it's not it's a thing yeah but it it's is. not it's not a trekkies thing really bro yeah. just to explain <laughs> lanai and i are gonna yeah we're on the same page right? Yeah. okay right right like you've never been to a talk like your husband has been oh he bases his about. life yeah. on talk about <laughs> <laughs> look at right, his physique but, yeah <laughs> but uh we'll get into that later but yeah i'm, I'm just telling you a trekkie thing is like a fat Taco Bell is like a uh. sustenance thing. Like there's times, <laughs> there's times where the only thing that can balance you really? is Taco Bell. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. It yep. is. It's really an amazing thing. Patrick, I'm so glad you're on the same oh page as me. Oh, my God. I, I like you even more now. <laughs> oh, right back at you. Yes. I, Some I, people I don't you, get it. When I walked into Mississippi, right, the Mississippi Taco Bell that I risked my life because there's no, <laughs> there's no walk, don't walk. You uh -huh. just have to try and chance it. <laughs> like Frogger. Frogger. Like Frogger. Frogger. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. I respect right? it. For a total Frogger, right? <laughs> so I walk in and I go, I want, I want four regular tacos and I want four combo burritos. And if you know anything about Taco Bell, you know if you get the old school combo burrito, it's kind of like a taco. It's like not <laughs> yeah, that big, yeah, yeah. but it has just the right amount of beans, just the, the right amount of ground beef. So it's text texturally yeah. perfect. It's believe, good in your I mouth. Think, yeah. I can't believe it's happening. But, right. the, but in Mississippi, they don't have it. They're no, like, what, what do they got? They're like, you want, you want four combos? <laughs> like, no. Oh, because you're well, doing you're doing inside burritos. you're yeah. doing inside ordering and they have no idea what you're talking about. No, yeah. I'm talking about like I, I I just didn't know that in California the Taco oh, Bell. Oh, it's different. The menu's yeah. I mean, different. Patrick, so let me ask you say, this. Yeah. Do, do, are you for bringing back the Mexican pizza? Oh my God! Here we go with oh, the Mexican pizza. Oh come on! You're speaking my language, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I never yeah. think of. I, that you're you're pulling you're like pulling stuff. Is back everyone on this show high but me? Yeah. <laughs> and, everybody and here loves Taco things, Bell. You know what's you know what's really funny, Brooke is uh, we're not high. <laughs> yeah. This excited. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just imagine if, if we, we were did drugs, yeah. which we've never done. I can't. I yeah. can't with you guys, bro. So funny. Yeah. So anyway, oh Patrick, God. you're now my favorite actor. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> one of my favorite talk shows, you know, podcast. podcast mogul. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to. You just went to number two. What, what happened? I am. Uh, this is the honest truth. So I know the guy who has the. Franchise licensed franchise for here Hawaii. Hawaii. So okay. because we've yeah. been talking about it so much lately, I'm going to hit him up on Monday and I'm going to put you and me <laughs> in the name of ambassador. Not oh just me God. anymore. I'm going to tell him you're going to get oh. a big name actor here too. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a package God, deal. Man. Yeah. So d- just, just wait for let that. Let me know, man. <laughs> no I promises, will. but I'm going to work on it. All right? I will cook. I will canoe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> have you been Am to Hawaii? Am I even have on you, the show anymore? Have you been understand. to Hawaii yet, Patrick? Oh, he comes all the time. Oh, he, he, has, all the time? he has like a so, he has a safe house okay, next in time, Kailua. Next time you come, I'd love to take you to dinner to Taco Bell. Oh my all right. god! Straight up, and I can't. and 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 it, you know your boy has the bar Taco Bell hookup, right? So that's gonna yeah. be a thing. That's gonna and, be a the thing. And the when he wants happened. to Christian that thing and like, you know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? Yeah. Break the champagne bottle over the the grand opening. Yeah. Okay. Oh All come right. on, making it happen. I'll get you the date as soon as it, they figure it out. Oh yeah. please, yeah. please, awesome. I'll start please, by like, a drag queen. And Brooke, Brooke, yes. my buddy, right? So so when I came to see you guys last, and I had. Uh, we had drinks. Yes, at Halikulani. Yes. Right. So my buddy's house, and this is my buddy of 30 years, right? He took his Drop family. the name. Drop the name. Nadir Safai. Thank you. Oh, nice. Yeah. Beautiful Nadir. compound. Beautiful compound. Yeah. Nadir claims he's Irish, but he's a Persian man. <laughs> and he okay. lives in... <laughs> his name sounds Irish to me. Lanikai, right? Oh, is he in Lanikai? Nadir O. Safai. Yeah. Wait, 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 Patrick. Hold on to this thought. Don't don't lose this thought. We're going to take a quick break. Don't Nadir's go anywhere. Gonna be it's a Hawaii so thing. mad at you. We'll be right back. He's gonna Please be come that. back. We're going to talk more about Taco Bell. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're talking about Nadir, the last time you were here, the uh, guy with the Irish name. Are you a name. rapper right now? <laughs> yeah. Nadir, the last time Nadir, we were here? Last yeah. time we were here. Okay, here. it's like yeah. Lin-Manuel yeah. over here. And, okay. and you stayed at his he- compound. Yeah, I, I stayed in his compound and, and people who are locals know his pet because on that back side of the island, you have the two islands that you could row or paddleboard out to. Yeah. Or, yes. Uh, yeah. Wait, the name, the name of Lanikai, his, outside of Lanikai. Yes, yes. Yeah. So his house is right between it and it was called Saddlebacks. Oh, the surf this? area? I mean, oh, are yeah, yeah, yes. So that was his house because they had a bunch of sandbags that people used to come and lay out. Wow. And, and so he just took out the sandbags and put it in the seawall, which which people are bummed because yes. they can't like hang out anymore. Yeah. Um, but if you have a problem with that and you live in Hawaii, his name is Nadir. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people do. Now I know what you're talking wow, about. That was a cross bus. Yeah. You just threw him under right is, there. That's is the... that a thing? Have you guys actually heard of this? Is yeah, yeah. No, it, of... it was all over the news. But the crazy thing is, is it was? everyone's upset. Oh, yeah. Everyone's upset because now you've just destroyed the way Mother Nature works. That's why Waikiki keeps losing its sand. They keep putting these walls and the sand goes in clockwork from like a clock during the winter to the summer. And that's why the sand moves. That's why in the winter there's less sand in the summer. There's more sand. Once you put a wall, (laughs) it can't do that. And I learned this from Buffalo Keolana who taught me about how the tide works. So once they put that wall, all the Hawaiians were pissed, (laughs) especially the surfers. But right. I will. What's but his name? No, <laughs> not, name's not dear. But you're gonna but have to find no, a new place to stay now. There's, there's no surf there anyway. No, no, but it's not about that. You're making the beach smaller. It's the ocean. Yeah, the way the ocean works. The, yeah. But but to back up my boy, yeah. not dear. And because I'm gonna, the first person who gets this interview <laughs> is gonna be Nadir's legal. So I have to save, yeah. I have to save face. Yeah. Everybody else has a seawall. Sea he was yeah. like the last. He was the last dude. Hold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why. Not, 
Right. That's why everyone's pissed at people who live there. Because <laughs> they're, they're not from here. <laughs> they're pissed about yeah. Latakia in general. Uh, yeah. It's not just Nadir. Yeah. Nadir's lovely. Yeah. He's lovely. And I would love oh, to visit his sweet, house. Bro. He's yeah. lovely. <laughs> let's He's let's lovely have, guy. Let's, yeah. uh, when you, next time you come, we'll get some Taco Bell or bring it to his house for dinner. <laughs> Uh, sit right. on the wall. Yeah, and we'll tear down his seawall. Yeah, <laughs> with uh, your bare hands. Patrick, is there anybody you would like to? Work, you've worked, obviously worked He's with a lot with of big names. Everybody. Is there anybody that you really want to work with in the in the movie television business? Uh, you know, I mean, you always. I mean, all of us, right? Like since uh, our, our my generation, anyway. Everybody wants to grow up and work with. Uh, Pacino and Pacino, De Niro yeah. and all those O's. Yeah, Brando yeah, yeah. I missed. Right, right. right. But, I, but I did produce a movie and and I had like five lines in a movie with Robert De Niro that's not been released yet. Oh, it's still. Called the Comeback okay. Trail. Yeah. Nice. And, and here's the plug. It's like a big, uh, it's just a it, Tommy Lee Jones, Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, and it's, wow. it's like City Slickers. Wow. Nice. So it'll be out later this year. And uh, I didn't, I was in the same scene as Robert De Niro, but I didn't speak to him. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, Which is ironic because he produced the movie. So you'd think right, he'd right. be able to move things like around. He, but but, but one, one cool thing was because, you know, you don't, and, and everybody knows this, anybody that's ever worked with him, he's Bob. You don't say Mr. De Niro because mm. you oh. think he would give that respect and he doesn't like that, mm. right? You don't talk to him unless he talks to you. And uh, and just like Goodfellas, like one, one day, right? He, after he saw I was there for a while, he figured I must have a reason to be there. And he goes, uh, he goes, hey, he goes, who are you? I go, I'm Patrick. And he gave me the back backwards hand fish. Oh. He goes, uh-huh. Right, he goes, Bob, Bob. And I'm like, wow, oh, fuck. <laughs> I call my mom, I call Ed, my I got Ed, bombed. Ed, my, Bob said. Bob said, oh, he goes, hey, Patrick, Bob. And I called everybody, everybody. that I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was uh you, you didn't kiss his hand? That would be weird. That's weird. <laughs> uh, he would have hit me. Like, he yeah. would have hit me in my weird. face. But, but, um, but What's the name of the movie, was, Patrick? What's, can you say the it's name? Called the, it's, yeah, sure. It's called The Comeback Trail. And the weird thing about The Comeback Trail is it's released everywhere else in the world except for America. Oh, wow. So maybe it's available in Hawaii. Okay. Oh, yeah, because no. they don't consider part of us America anyway. Well, we get no. You we're guys, gonna, you guys do, but it's like North. It's oh uh, yeah, international. They yeah, they break up the territories. Like uh, right. North America is America and Canada. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they and then we might they, be Asia and Pacific. We got to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk more. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. About Taco Bell. Get your house in order. Go to HiFiCU.com and download the whole Kelly guidebook today. Since 1846, St. Louis School is where boys who want to change the world become the men who do. Visit stlouishawaii.org. Keep the noise and heat out and the AC in with exclusive Ali'i Extreme windows from Windows Hawaii. Visit trustwindowshawaii.com today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Lanai and Brooke hanging out with you with Patrick Muldoon, uh, actor, producer. Uh, the movie we were just talking about comes out at the end of this year. You produced the movie and you were actually in the movie. It's her baby. That was his baby. Yeah. yeah. That was my baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you, and, uh, um, have you well, got called to get or casted or to do anything in Hawaii? You know, this has become a hot spot. Here we no, go. it's a, here's, here's the deal. Uh, Brooke knows casting directors I in don't. Hawaii. I really no, yes, you do. Because there was somebody when the last time we had drinks at the hotel, what's the hotel? Halikulani. Yeah. All right. That hotel, there was somebody there that you knew who mm. was in the casting office of. Who's that, Brent? Magnum, probably Brent. Yeah. Oh, Brent, yeah. Hawaii 5 Yeah, or, yeah. You know, and I'm like, you know, I mean, what a beautiful, you guys live in paradise, as you know, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so I said to the lady, I forget what her name was. Maybe she was Tori's friend. I'm just like, hook me up. Like, can I just come and be on the show for five years? Right. You know, right. Just hang out, you know, <laughs> I mean, so, so those are my chances. Yeah. In okay. Those, yeah. I mean, I think that's everybody's chances, right? If from the mainland is, is, is are you, you are you in, based in LA? In, are you based born in LA? Born and raised. Okay, what, what part? 
So I grew up in San Pedro, which is the oh, yeah. uh, Los, Los Angeles waterfront. Yeah. So, so you know, you, you have a ship, you come into the harbor like this. Uh-huh. This is San Pedro. This yes. is Long Beach. Yes. So Snoop Dogg, no doubt. Everybody yes. cool is over here. Yeah, yeah. Over in Pedro, there's just like... Bishop Montgomery High School. Uh, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, that's Torrance. Oh, that's Torrance. I, I'm a little bit too far. Oh, I went too far. Okay, I know where you're at oh, now. Yeah. Over yeah. here, we just unload your boat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're not quite in Manhattan. You're not quite in Manhattan Beach or Manhattan you're close, Beach, though. Manhattan Beach is the Beverly Hills of all of the uh, beach towns. So yeah. like the South Bay. You don't, okay. you don't live in. So we have Redondo Beach, Mosa Beach, Manhattan Beach. And, okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Got fam- I got family lives in that area. See, because Patrick is family to us because Tori, my husband, uh-huh. and Amit Zappa, uh-huh. they're besties. And I see. Amit's married to his kid sister. Okay, I see. So the, he's the like a brother-in-law. Now. I always hear so about I just, Amit. So, so I don't know if if you guys know. Are they hip to your husband? His personality. Yeah, he's, oh, oh yeah, he's yeah. Been I, on the show. I actually okay. like him better than Brooke. <laughs> I, we, no. if, if Brooke ever kills over, we're having him take over the spot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, Brooke, Brooke, Weird. Brooke is much better looking. Thank However, you. <laughs> Thank you. But, but I have friends like my brother-in-law that have the most crude sense that I've never met anybody with a sense of humor like your husband. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Amit. He has yeah. Very similar and Amit, people. But yeah. Amit and I, we, we pride each other on, yeah. on one upsmanship. Right. But when Tori comes into town, like he just did with Next Finn, level. your son. Yeah. It's a whole new whole level. New thing. Whole yeah. new world. Yeah. Whole new world. Yeah. He yeah. had a crying. <laughs> Cry. Anytime Tori comes into town, crying. crying. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as there's no police stations involved, yeah, then that's okay. Accurate. Yeah. Pretty yeah, accurate. yeah. No, not to get out of jail because of Tori. Yeah. Uh, that's a different. Hey, because uh, I've done some drug deals with Tori on uh, Sunset Boulevard. Why we got to talk um, about this? That's, that's how I know Tori. <laughs> I, thought, I knew Tori before. This yeah. whole broke Amit thing. Oh, uh-huh. oh my God. All right, let's give uh, Patrick some parting gifts. Oh, okay. I, I, so we'd love to keep okay, talking. Dad, to you. I literally have yeah. one job. Um, so we're getting you some parting gifts. You get a bougie bottle. This is a wrist. You know, you can use this water too. bottle water made bottle. in Hawaii. It has oh. Hawaiian water. We got now. you some eighty-eight tees shirts. We're yes. sending these your way. You like some t-shirts from Hawaii? 88 oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we have some cool so ones. Send it to me. Them. Send it to me extra small. Extra, oh, extra okay, because you lost weight at the stuff. Target. Target. <laughs> what? I mean, at the, at the Taco Bell. 88 tees. Uh, yeah. Love them. We have I love those t-shirts, by the way. Yeah, yeah. 88 yeah, I'll go, tees. I'll go, after after we do Taco Bell, I'll get into those extra small t-shirts and go to the beach. Uh, Manny Huni Max. You get some Manny Huni Max coming your way. Some chocolate covered nuts. You're getting some Love it. Uh, Hawaiian some tarot chip, chips. Taro chips. What, and what pitting, taro chips? Taro, yeah, yes. Made out of taro. Very Same healthy. thing as poi. And then we made got some. Made out of tarot some- cards? Taro chips. Might be from Diva. Roots. I got it. Yeah. From Diva. Who's Diva also Zappa. part of the show? Yeah. Um, and then Pigeon Boji. We're sending you some Chinese uh, fortune, fortune cookies, cookies with pigeon um, emoji like stuff inside in pigeon language. Yeah. So. Wait. By the way, Patrick, I knew why I, I like you so much. Oh, you're wait. you're a Libra born on September 26th, 7th, just we f- like me. We forgot about no. this week. September 27th. Are, really? yeah. Are you guys twins? Yeah. Whoa. Born the same year too. No. Yeah, I just looked at his bio. Wow. 20, se- September twenty seventh, Libra, and we're good You're guys. You're a little square up here, Lenai. So, so I, I thought you were born in like nineteen ninety five. Right. Oh, yeah, we're the same exact age. Uh, so you're getting me... some whiskey, by the way, too, oh, from whiskey. Old Pully Whiskey coming your way. Wait, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish yeah, this now we're talking. conversation. Yeah, yeah. Don't go anywhere, Patrick Muldoon. Thank you so much for doing the Come show. Come to YouTube. We're gonna swear. Go to YouTube. We got the extended version of this uh, interview. We'll see you guys. Mahalo for watching. Bye. Thank you, guys, Thank you, Patrick. Mahalo. Aloha, brother. Thank you, guys. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. This is the extended version on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe Extra. bell, hit the taco bell, and we'll let you know when we have <laughs> uh, new shows up. Wow. Uh, Patrick Muldoon is hanging out with us today, producer, actor. How many movies have you been in, Patrick? Mm, have you come? I don't know. Loaded I mean, question. How many have you seen, Lenai? Yeah, right. I've seen about <laughs> 32 of them. Really? Yeah, I'm right, trying right. to catch Someone's up. What's your name? Yeah, okay. I'm trying okay. to catch I, up. I, I don't know. 
but I will tell you this. So, so here's, here's the thing that, uh, that I'm stoked about. So, so I went to, because the older I got, I was like, Hey, do I want to be 40 someday, which I'm not. <laughs> Hala. Oh, we're the, we're born on the same day. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we're 42. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're, we're 42 <laughs> guys. Sorry. We... You, 42. Hala. So anyway, so I'm like, Hey, I got to go on the other side of the desk. So I got back from, uh, uh, I always wanted to work with Liam Neeson. Oh, okay. nice. Fair. And so are you guys down with, uh, classic noir, like Chinatown, LA yes. Confidential? Right? Yes. 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 So by the grace of God, blessed, I got part of this movie. And so I got to go Neil Jordan, who did the crying game. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And William Monaghan, who wrote Departed. Did you ever see Ooh, that? Yeah, yes. nice, good movie. Yeah. So so I became a uh, part of this movie, i.e. found money for it. And <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I went to Spain and Ireland right before Christmas. And so we just got done. So the name of this movie is called Marlo. Mm. And Humphrey Bogart played this character called Marlo back in the day. And so uh, that'll be out next year. So you guys have to uh, have to go check. Oh, that's that out. awesome! Wait, so this was in the height of the pandemic. You guys were shooting uh, abroad. No, no, no. During... we just got done done this oh, Christmas. This Christmas, oh. got it. Okay, yeah. got, it, now, got it. Do got it. you have a part in it, or you just produced it? I do have four lines. Ooh. I thought I had five lines, but I we're we're <laughs> seeing the edit. Uh, uh, I have four lines. Four lines. Uh. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Well, do you, do you edit, do that? Do you write go yourself ahead, in? Do you write yourself into it when you produce it? And why do you only give no, yourself you know four lines? Is? When you work with a boss like a, a, an auteur director like Neil Jordan, right? You think that you could put yourself in the movie? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's I've done this before. Whatever, it makes it harder for you. Oh. Wow. So he's like, "Oh, you're a producer. You're gonna audition for me fifteen times." Ah. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's Hollywood. That's but he's hard. a. But that's the way it is. But but also, you know what it is 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 uh, in it's and it's not a game. It's like what we do mm. right in the arts. Whether yeah. It's a yeah. Podcast or whatever it is. Right. You know, we learn as we go. Yeah. Right. And this guy has done it so much. He's just like, he's not going to be when you're when you're the director at that level. You if you got the paintbrush, nobody else, yeah. not yeah. the producer. Right. And yeah. So. And so anyway, so I had to <laughs> audition and lost the part and auditioned again. And anyway, but it's awesome, my though. thing is my thing is four lines. But the big thing is, is that uh, Liam Neeson was in every scene and just, you know, when you work with somebody where they're kind to the last person, person on set. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. A gentleman and right. a pro and uh, Jessica Lange. Oh, Jessica Lange. Nice. <laughs> can you wait? Can you imitate uh, Liam Neeson? Nielsen? Neeson. Neeson. I I can't. You can't. I, I oh mean, shoot! You know, I'm half Irish, and I yeah. I have what? the worst Irish. <laughs> wait, no, because people don't know this about him. I but... am a Liam Neeson. Give me a Guinness, you. Wait, you guys are wait because you and your mom, you guys speak your own secret language. You guys are Czechoslovakian. What? What Croatian. is Croatian? Croatian. Oh, I love Croatia. Like I'm talking like straight up Croatia. Really? Croatia. Have you been back? Have you been to Croatia lately? Many times. I yeah, love yeah. Croatia. What a beautiful yeah. country. So like yeah, they speak cool. the language to each other. Like they're straight up. Yeah. For realsies. What it, what would yeah. be your? Well, I always ask actors this. What's your? Because I suck at auditions. What's your <laughs> advice for auditions? That it sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, so so I want to go audition for one of your movies. What is your advice? Here you go. You just like pay me on the side. <laughs> I knew it. In Taco hopefully, Bell. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully Neil Get Jordan's those combos not the right. And you're in. <laughs> Get that combo right. Oh, I no, knew it. No, but. Uh, but Brooke, so where I grew up, we're talking about the Long Beach. Remember yeah. talking about Long Beach over here, San Pedro. San Pedro is one of the biggest populations of Croatians in America. Really? Oh, already know that. Uh, we, weirdly. How right? did they get there? They On just, the boat. That's where the boat fishing, came in. <laughs> it's oh, a fishing, fishing. culture. Yeah. Uh. It's, it's 
it's a fishing culture. So one cousin got on the boats that would send for the next cousin. And- right. Did you did you know there's a lot of Filipinos there too? In San Pedro. Yeah, that yeah. whole area. Where's yeah, there, yeah Torrance, Gardena, Carson, San Pedro, Carson. Carson. A lot of yeah, people. I grew up with a lot of Filipinos too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm yeah. half. Because so I know I'm I'm related to half of them in the San Pedro area. <laughs> yeah, well, a bunch yeah. of we're us. all we're Fair. all cousins. Fair. And, and you get and it, so San Pedro is uh, is Mexican, Croatian, and Italian because those uh, are the fishing cultures and yeah. Filipino, oh. right? Yeah. So all my cousins are like. Half cro it's called Croexicans, Croitalians. <laughs> nice. Croapino. Cro- Croapino. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's a good. I've never heard that. What does that food look yeah. like? Yeah. That's got to be some strange it's all seafood. mix of food. It's all there. seafood, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. It's a, wait, yeah. you didn't give me your advice for just one tip if I need for an audition. Uh. The, uh, the audition what do you advice. do like what do you do he don't audition. can i t- can i tell you because right now i'm so happy to be talking to you guys because i have seven pages where where is it audition and a part i know i'm not gonna get <laughs> natalie portman oh oh shit okay I, I, I won't get it so i can talk about it what? <laughs> <laughs> you just bought you yourself. You're gonna Come get on, it. you're gonna. The you're legal tempting, department I'm gonna come. the muses. Like, yeah, 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 totally. It. You're gonna, gonna get, get it now. Screw it. I'm not if gonna I did get, get this job. We're gonna have a full show. Be like, remember that <laughs> <laughs> seven page monologue. But the but the thing is, is that you don't have time to prepare. Yeah, you get three days. Yeah. and and if you're lucky for you know, three the, days. The people that are the leads. Will you please do this? Well, let me read and let me take three weeks to go through, right? But but for all of us that, that audition in, you know, you have to get off book and make up your mind and make up your choices quick. But here's my tip, right? Yeah. Doing this 30 years. Don't sit here and try and memorize lines. Really? Get on your, get on your feet. Okay. Oh. Your body memorizes way faster than your mind. That's a good tip. See? So as as you speak the lines, you imagine and you send, you're sending ideas in acting, right? So your body takes in the words, but it's your body. It's just like surfing or anything else. Can you ah, think surfing? Can you no. think a sport? No. Your body knows. See, no one's ever told me that before. See? It's such a good one. Now, it's such yeah, a good now one. he's going to start booking things thanks to Patrick. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and I'll see, yeah. you want to be my agent. And then he'll be like, why is he doing an interpretive dance while he's yeah. auditioning yeah, yeah. for NCIS? But it, but it, may, it makes sense because um, Andy Bumatai, who's a famous comedian here, uh, I do stand-up. He used to tell us when we started um, to do stand, repeat your st- uh, stuff and walk like you're on the stage. Oh. Like if you do the yeah. round, there's yeah. a there's a way to do the round. You got to walk that way back. That way you touch every corner uh. kind of deal and then your body help it helps you. That's a good one. See? He's Patrick. telling you he's telling you the exact same thing I'm telling you. Yeah. So so we don't know what our body knows. Yeah. Right? That you can't read in an acting book or whatever. So so for or for anything your body memorizes just like it does in sports, right? Yeah. Way faster than your mind does. Muscle. So then I, the cool thing is you're going to start booking and I'm only going to charge you 25 <laughs> On the back end. Hey, if I get you this ambassador Taco Bell deal, we're oh. renegotiating this, all right? <laughs> hey, dude, we're even. We're even, okay. I like we're that. Even, <laughs> I'm going to get this, Based watch. Based on the bean burrito. I, we put this out. It's so much into <laughs> it's the, it's so, so much in the universe. Weird. Yeah. It's what, yeah, so what's your what did what did you say already? What you choose from Taco Bell? What's your go-to? So it's it's the basics. It's and and here's a little tip from Taco Bell. You you get the regular tacos, you know the hard yeah. shell tacos, and you get it without lettuce so that the cheese melts into the ground the beef. Br- beef. Yeah, I heard that one before. Yeah. And you throw the mild sauce. I'm I'm a mild sauce guy at Taco Bell. Not other places. So am I. Bell. I'm a mild like, sauce guy. This is guy serious. Too. Serious yeah. stuff. I like understand. when I come, we need to hook up and and graph this out on some pie charts. <laughs> and shit. Yeah, we're gonna make a YouTube uh, video on instruction on, uh, how on to order. yeah Taco Bell hacks. We're okay. gonna call it. Yeah. Okay. You know what I do is I get the uh, Doritos tacos. I love the good? Doritos you know, I tacos. Tried it. 
It is so good. So I'll get a six pack. But they're only seasonal, I thought. Are they regular now? They're regular. I get a six pack with extra sour cream. And I also get a a Mexican pizza. But they don't have it right now. And a cinnamon twist to end. Cinnamon twist is it. Yeah, it's a nice stick. But I will tell you, besides the Taco Bell bar thing, the Mexican pizza coming back. Did, didn't the Mexican pizza also have all like four olives on it? Yes, it did. <laughs> on one on each cut. On each cut, there was one olive on are, each cut. You guys are insane. <laughs> <laughs> you can it just did. taste it now, right? Yeah, yes. It's insane yeah. how crazy you guys are right now. Like, oh, you, it's so good. Like, like who at Taco Bell is like, no, nah, man. Are we done? No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. We need the olives oh. just to set it off. Hey, Patrick, I'm going to send you a video. There's a, Please. did you ever see this video of uh, uh, Coco? What's the, t- the talk show host with the big red hair? Why Coco, do you keep, his name's Coco. Why they do call you keep him Coco. forgetting? Who the name that? of his network, the channel on YouTube is called Coco. But his, he's a talk show host, Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien goes to Taco Bell, the main headquarters, and he tries to get on the ambassador program. And they have these windows where the, you, the, these people sitting on the other side and they open the window and they slide out the new menu and you got to try it and you got to grade it. So what oh he does is, God. yeah, so he sits behind it and it opens and it has all these people and he's there with his face and they're like, Surprised because they're like, what is Conan O'Brien doing here? But he made it his own Taco Bell uh, uh, dishes. Many- yeah, weird. like totally weird off the wall dishes. And he made people taste them. I'm going to send you the video. You're going to love so it. so bizarre. Oh, yeah. please do. It's like, <laughs> I mean, he's an Irish dude, right? So yes. it's corn beef, corn beef tacos or something. <laughs> yeah. So bizarre. Oh, my gosh. James, Jameson on the top. Um, I have to ask this question because I have a whole my own pageant side. Aren't you doing Hallmark movies? Aren't you doing Hallmarks? Or is that yeah? Is yeah. That I mean, what happens is you do. You, I do a movie. I shouldn't say you. And and my experience is I'll do a movie and then I don't know and it ends up on Hallmark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Because like Hallmark. We're doing one right now. Ruben, isn't there one shooting here right now? Yeah. A Hallmark movie. So many Hallmark movies are here. There was one last year. Really? It's like once a year we get one. I did. Oh, I three, did three one last year. Big, three uh, last year. A uh, Hallmark movie called Boyfriend for Christmas. Okay. Right? And then, and then it was a success. So they turned it in, into a movie? A, like uh, a franchise you know, type of sitch. Cut cousin for Christmas. Oh. Uncle for Christmas. <laughs> Dog walker Daddy for Christmas. Dog walker for Christmas. Dental hygienist totally. for J Lo for Christmas. Weird. I yeah. wish that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, when are you coming back to Hawaii, Patrick? TikTok. What's TikTok? happening? When are when's, you coming? When yeah. are you coming to Hawaii? Come on, you're due. You're due. I need an invitation. It's from you and Tori, Brooke. See? That's what's up. Hey, okay. just come. You can stay at Najah's place or whatever. What's <laughs> his name? Nadir. Nadir. It went Nadir. Yeah, you can Nadir. stay at Nadir's Nadir. place. If he's still there he's after there. this show. <laughs> he's still there. He's fine. Yeah. I yeah, you know. Like, like yeah. he's sending me pictures, you know, as it gets done. Uh-huh. And he's, you know, and it's like almost done and almost done. But the pictures before, and this is a bad thing to say, but maybe it's not a bad thing to say. He would send me pictures because there were all these big, huge sandbags out there, right? Mm. Um, and he just sent me pictures from this. I don't want to get him in trouble with this. <laughs> well, maybe we should stop but already. Just the most unbelievably beautiful women <laughs> sunbathing <laughs> out on these sandbags. Oh, oh the sandbags. Why do you want to get it? Why do you want to get a see? What are you doing? Why, why are you putting a wall up? You're just you're ruining the view. <laughs> that's funny. yeah. That's hilarious. You must that's hate like, yourself. Hilarious. Besides besides surfing and and the views of Hawaii, do you do you like the food here? Do you like the music? What else do you like? I love it all. Yeah. I love it. All. I mean, you guys live in even if you just walk out into the what do you call it? The, the Hawaiian beach? forest. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just the, the backyard. Just the, forget the tourist parts like any yeah. part of hawaii is magical yeah you know for us awesome for yeah us. he what loves you, it what do you call yeah. us are we howleys yeah howleys, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, us, yeah howleys it's all magical so you're like 
Yeah, but so you're not now, a you're not a Howley anymore. Like, you know, oh, he just I mean, made you a come you Understand Aina. where I come from, right? Yeah, Long Beach. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're not you're not a Howley anymore. He just been made you now. a come Aina. Yeah. He just made you a local. So now you're oh, yeah, now yeah. you're on tell, this side. Tell Tori. Tell Tori. You're, tell, Tori's tell, not even on that yeah. side yet. So t- when you when really? you talk to Tori, yeah. tell him, hey, tell him this, Patrick. Tell him you're gonna get a Hawaiian tattoo. <laughs> And, and that's it. Just leave it blank. Just say, "Oh, Lanai is taking me to get a Hawaiian tattoo," and just He'll leave it so blank. Oh, dude. Yeah. He'll be so upset. Okay. Really? I'm down. Yeah. Because <laughs> he didn't get approval. He did not. Tori didn't get approval. I will attest to that. He did not. But you're not messing with me, right? I'm not gonna get the <laughs> tattoo, and it's gonna say like Howley. Nacho Bell Grande. <laughs> Nacho Bell Grande. I'm gonna, I'm a little Chihuahua from Taco Bell. I'm gonna Here, get you that tattoo. Lizard, lizard, lizard. <laughs> I'm gonna be a local dude, and I All get right. like some like you know. Tweety Bird with a hakule on his head. Patrick, thank you so much for talking story with us today. Thanks for coming on the show. Yes, I we just really feel like appreciate staying it. staying on your show. You just hang out now? Well, when you come here, why don't you come in the studio? Oh, my God. You could come in studio. You and Straight Tori. Up. Yeah. Oh, that'd be a good one. You and Tori oh, here wow. would bust yeah. things. Oh, wow. You guys would break things yeah. for sure. But, uh, but maybe you need if you if Brooke, Brooke's husband comes on, you need like a sensor. We, oh, we have it. Trust me. Watch the show. I'll okay. send you the link. It's all beeped out. Everything's beep, 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 beep. Beeper. Yeah. Yeah. Things That's him. Howard anyway. Stern has you nothing got, on him. You guys are awesome. Thank you Thank for coming you. on. Wonderful to see you. Uh, maybe we'll maybe I'll see you in LA. I'm always in LA. Do I have permission yeah. to give him your information? Do I have permission to give uh, him you, your number? Are you kidding? Please. Okay, and my I brother will. on my on my birthday. Come on. Yes. Okay, I will get and it. And we'll go have some Taco Bell, man. Okay. Here we Straight go. up. And, and do you know, I just have to tell you astrologically, right? So Libras are, should not be an astrological sign. It should be a disease. Right? <laughs> I second it. Why? You can't make up your, <laughs> but there's a week of Libra, which is our week, which is the psychotic week, right? And you uh-huh. have crazy people born during this week, like Bridget Bordeaux and like all kinds of like crazy people. So, so you're, we need to stick together. Yes, we do. See? You know, you know who yeah. else celebrates our birthday? Who's that? I don't even know why I brought up this name. Sean Cassidy. <laughs> you remember hey, him? Man. Sean Cassidy. Hey, meat, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Oh, Lil oh Wayne? that's right. Little Wayne does Little too. Wayne. That's yeah. insanity. Gwyneth that's a, Paltrow. Oh, oh wow. we have some good company. Levine. Oh, okay. really? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just learning oh. about about Libra and all this from chemo. Or, no, you are born on a psychotic day. I mean, none <laughs> of those names I mentioned are chill. Yeah. <laughs> that is everybody, true. Everybody on that list needs help, right? Yeah, everyone's so on 11. You, everyone's all right, on I'm here 11. for you, brother. Are you on the social media? Do you do the tweet or the Instagram? I do it all. I okay. do it all on, on Twitter. I'm uh, Muldoon Patrick on Instagram. Um, the Patrick Muldoon. Okay. Shana made that up for me. Rose. All right. Uh, I will follow is you. Is there anything else? And on Facebook, I'm, I don't know. Patrick Muldoon. Under your name, probably. One of, one of my personalities. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for doing the show. Thanks Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Muldoon. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little Taco Bell so you know when we have Stop a new. We're going right to get that sponsored when, so we know we have a <laughs> new uh, show coming out. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. Ahoy ho. See you next time. Uh-huh.